like wines that have got stories to them um, when it uh, when it relates to something to do with the quality. Um, so if it's if yeah, wines that are accidentally made, which is always very nice, uh, or wines that are um, made because of something or for some reason. Uh, this particular version is um, a story of a wine that's made by a family uh, who's um, who were making lots of great wines in the south of France and doing all sorts of normal things that farmers do down there for generations. And then the daughter of the current owner married a guy who was a bit ambitious and he has sort of slowly uh, revolutionised the winery. And it's really, um, it's really interesting because the wines are really good. That's nice. But the labelling is really cool as well. And that's, yeah, don't judge a wine by its label. We, we always do. Um, this is uh, a lovely wine called The Idiot. And it's called The Idiot because uh, it uh, takes the premise that you can't drink that because it's made of this, uh, which of course is idiotic because wines from all over the world can be wonderful or terrible um, from one day to the next, from one harvest to the next. Um, true, there are many mitigating circumstances that might increase your chances of making really good wine and increase your chances of making consistently less than great wine but when the right technology or the right attitude or the right planting or the right conditions combine you can make something that's really good and this idiot is a really really good merlot it's sorry it's a really good wine it happens to be made from merlot in the region of Cabardes in the south of France it's to the north and to the west of um, Carcassonne. So it's Languedoc, uh, right at the very edge of Languedoc, uh, still on that kind of, on that plain, rather than into the very, very rocky mountainous bits of Roussillon. Um, so it, it, you know, it's of that area, and it's got lots of lovely Mediterranean warmth. But because they're so far north, this particular winery have worked out that they also get influences from the Atlantic, right over the other side of France. And what that means is that it's a little bit fresher than other bits of Languedoc. And they are very keen on using Bordeaux grape varieties, Merlot being one of them. And a lot of the other wines they make in their winery is uh, are made from Cabernet Franc. Uh, so you can look about those as well. I really hope you like it. It's lovely, really smooth. And well, I'm not saying you'd be idiotic not to like it, but it would be idiotic to say that it's poor just because it's made of Merlot.